you're having trouble chunking, yipping, sculling your chips around the green, this is the most important part of your game, especially when you're beginning. This is a great tip for beginners. Stay tuned and check this out. All right, so here I have three golf balls. They're placed in three different positions in my stance. When I'm chipping and this, this pin's like maybe 20, 30 feet in front of me, and I'm pretty close to the green, I usually have a fairly narrow stance. The first ball is positioned in the inside part of my left heel. I call that position one. The next ball is positioned just an inch behind that in the center part of my feet. That's position two. And the last ball is positioned just inside my right heel. That's position three. The only reason why we'd have three different ball positions here, why you'd play it in different positions, is to allow for either the leading edge to, to dig into the ground for a lower shot or to allow for the bounce of the club, the back edge of the club, to cut through the grass for a higher shot. Typically, if I want a lower shot, I'm playing it back in my stance. If I want a higher shot, I'm playing it forward. When would you want to use a higher low shot? Well, it depends how much grass you have to carry. This distance here, I have about 50% of my shot is rough. The, the last 50, maybe 45% of this shot is the green. So I can play any one of these shots. I can play middle, back, or front. We have three different handle positions as well. So I want you to get a close-up on this here, Dawson, so you can see exactly what I'm doing with my hands in relation to my belt. So handle position A, the handle goes up my left leg. B goes up the center. C goes back towards my right leg. Cool? All right. So when I approach different shots, and let's say I want to hit a low shot here, my first thought is to play it in the back of my stance with my handle forward. When the handle goes forward, the loft of the club gets taken away. We call that de-lofting. So when the handle goes more forward, we de-loft the golf club. When the handle goes back in the stance or back away from the golf ball, we add loft to the shot. That's why you see pros play bunker shots like this when they're trying to get up in the air or flop shots. And you see pros really forward press their handle to keep that ball low. So if we go back to my system here, I'm going to play it with handle position A, ball position 3. So I'm just going to lean into my front side with this handle position and ball position and rock my shoulders. If I do that correctly, the ball comes out really low and it goes about two feet from the hole, like that. All right, second ball position, I want to play more of a medium trajectory shot. I'm going to rake this ball in. It's playing right towards the center of my stance. Maybe I want my handle to go back a little bit to get a little bit more loft. So I'm going to point the butt of the handle more up to the center of my chest more up to my sternum, maybe a slight forward press from there. Now I'm just going to rock my shoulders again, same thing. If I do that correctly, the ball almost goes in the cup. We'll show these shots a little later. Lastly, I have my high shot. Ball's going to be in position one. Remember, it's one, two, three. This time, I really want to get the ball up in the air. I want to carry this most of the way to the hole. So wherever I start my handle, that's where I want to feel like I end my handle to at my shot. So I'm not starting here and going this way. I'm starting here and going back to the same position. So I'm letting my handle go past my hands a little bit just to get a little bit more loft. You can see how soft that ball came out, came out a lot higher, and it was easy to get that bounce to cut through the grass. So this is just with the stock stance, stock ball positions. We're not doing anything crazy here yet with opening the face, hitting down, left, into out. That's gonna be our next intermediate video coming up soon. So if you like this, subscribe to this. We'll give you more of this. Until next time.